Following question from Isa Bendanya Omali from uh, GMADC Double B. Inabot lang po siya ng uh, live report niya. To Congresswoman Migs, viral ngayon sa social media ang isang teacher na nag-live sa TikTok at nanermon ng mga estudyante. Para kay Congresswoman na madalas din trending sa kanyang content sa TikTok at FB, ano dapat ang isa alang alang sa paggamit ng social media lalo na kapag politician, teacher or kilalang tao? Trending pa ba ako hanggang ngayon? <laughs> Lahat po ata kami trending si Konga rin ngayon. <laughs> trending to. Um, uh, you know, uh, I'd always say naman pagdating sa social media, you don't have to be an influencer. Kahit lahat tayo, di ba? You have to be a responsible um, poster. Ako, napanood ko kasi yung teacher na nag-viral sa social media. Ako, uh, mix. Uh, malayong-malayo siya sa pag-tiktok mo. Uh, medyo napakasakit talaga nung sinabi ng teacher. At hindi ko maintindihan ang context kung bakit siya napadbad sa social media. Uh, okay. I I saw the video, not fully, no. But um, looking from the balcony, this can also be an, an eye opener. May mali ang teacher, yes. There is also the impact of social media, yes. But we also have to look at the bigger picture. Baka yung hatin mga pab. Thank you uh, for today's uh, last question. Polling question from Isa Abendanya Omali from uh, GMADC Double B. Inabot lang po siya ng uh, live report niya. To Congresswoman Migs, viral ngayon sa social media ang isang teacher na nag-live sa TikTok at nanermon ng mga estudyante. Para kay Congresswoman na madalas din trending sa kanyang content sa TikTok at FB, ano dapat ang isa alang-alang sa paggamit ng social media lalo na kapag politician, teacher, or kilalang tao? Trending pa ba ako hanggang ngayon? <laughs> Lahat po ata kami trending si Konga rin ngayon. <laughs> trending to. Um... Uh, you know, uh, I'd always say naman pagdating sa social media, you don't have to be an influencer. Kahit lahat tayo, di ba? You have to be a responsible poster. <laughs> diba? Uh, diba? Uh, yung social media is a platform that you can use for the good or evil. It's either maninira ka ng tao or gagawin mong diba, pang clickbait or whatsoever. So hopefully, diba, gamitin natin yung social media sa tamang paraan to you know educate to uh, be a better person to be a kinder person at hindi yung mga paninira or fake news at lahat uh, so ito kung ginamit niya pang sermon as long as i guess hindi siya nagmumura or wala siyang violation sa community guidelines right naman niya yon but i hope the by use social media uh, as an avenue to let others um, be educated and siguro be a better Filipino citizen kaysa manira-nira tayo. Diba? We all want uh, peace, especially this Holy Week. Sana, di ba, peaceful tayong lahat at uh, we we go back to goodness na lang instead of hate. Di ba? <laughs> so, yun. Siguro yun lang po. Um, ako, napanood ko kasi yung teacher na nag-viral sa social media. Ako, uh, mix. Uh, malayong-malayo siya sa pag-tiktok mo. Uh, medyo napakasakit talaga nung sinabi ng teacher. At hindi ko maintindihan ang context kung bakit siya napadbad sa social media. Um, para sa akin, napaka sakit ng mga salita niya, pananalita niya, napaka-uncalled for bilang isang guro. Bilang isang guro, dapat nag-practice talaga siya ng, ng self-control. Dapat huminga muna siya ng malalim kahit ano pa yung ginawa ng mga estudyante sa kanya bilang guro na ginagalang. Dapat hindi siya talaga nagwala. At uh, binigyan naman siya sa pagkakaalam ko ng DepEd ng tatlong araw para magpaliwanag. Siguro antayin na lang natin yung napakaganda niyang paliwanag. Uh, kasi matindi talaga yung mga pinagsasabi ng guro na, na nag-viral. At napakasakit ng mga salita niya. Tinawag pa niyang, uh, wag na nating ulitin. Pero 
to the effect na sinabi niyang uh, walang karapatan yung mga estudyante kasi mahihirap sila or something to that effect. Eh kaya nga siya yung nagtuturo eh para matuto yung mga bata. Paano pa sila matututo kung ganun yung klase ng pagtuturo? So, siguro antayin na lang talaga natin yung magiging sagot niya. Bigyan natin siya ng three days, sabi ng DepEd. Pero kahapon pa yon so two days na lang. Antayin natin. Salamat po. Okay. I, I saw the video, not fully, no? But, um, Looking from the balcony, this can also be an eye-opener. May mali ang teacher, yes. There is also the impact of social media, yes. But we also have to look at the bigger picture. Baka yung ating mga public school teachers ay meron ding pinagdaraanan and wala dun yung avenue na yung mga needs nila o yung mental problems nila or yung kanilang acceptance dun sa mga pinagagawa ng ibang estudyante. Because it's a very big institution and uh, there should be a command or a chain where they can vent out their problems. And um, I, uh, syempre ngayon, marami, rin, marami ang nagagalit sa kanya. At the, uh, on one hand naman, hindi lang din natin alam, iilan sa ating public school teachers are feeling the same. Ano ba yung pinagmulan ng lahat ng mga ito? Where is she coming from? And um, nakakalabas ba sila ng boses? So within the Department of Education, is somebody hearing them out? Is somebody hearing their problems? Or is somebody supporting them? Ano ba yung mga bagay-bagay? What should be the feedback mechanism between our teachers and their administration? This is a very important thing that should also be looked into. Because for all we know, baka mamaya sa loob-loob niya ando na yung galit, pero hindi siya makalapit sa principal, sa regional director, or baka nakalapit siya, may problema na, pero kinocontain kasi hindi nila maipalabas sa central office. So, and mind you, we need to look into this kasi baka mamaya it's not an isolated case. Nagkataon lang na lam nalaman ng lahat kasi ni live niya. It's, it's ni live niya, di ba? Was it live or somebody took it? I'm, I'm not sure. Ni, ni live niya, di ba? Yun ang pagkaintindi ko eh. So, hindi siya by accident eh. It's intentional. There's a deeper message behind that. It's 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 venting out and nandoon and yung baka mamaya hindi na niya alam ano bang gagawin ko who can hear me out who can help me kasi minsan yung mga tao they want it to be viral because they need the attention or they want it to be viral because nobody is paying attention to them or is this a support na kailangan no 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 I, no the, 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 this is for for the sake of the teacher kasi It's a very challenging environment. And then we go back. Marami tayong mga government employees na nasa baba. Na ang dami nilang challenges. Marami nakakasuhan. Wala namang pambayad ng abogado. Marami na pagbibintangan. Hindi sila makavent out. And that is where leadership comes into picture. And that is why this problem should be looked deeply by the Department of Education. Ano ba ang problema? Meron bang feedback mechanism? And mind you, we have also teachers sa talagang may problema. I had an experience before na medyo nagkaroon ng problema, personal problem yung teacher. And pinag, uh, sa galing ng, yung pinag, ano ha niya? Pinagbubuntungan. Yeah, pinagbubuntungan niya ng kanyang hinanakit ay yung mga estudyante, pinapalo niya ng payong. But because she was not like that before, I decided to come in and look into the situation. And I realized she had personal problems na kailangan natin intindihin siya. But at the same time, the children cannot suffer. So the solution there was we requested her transfer to the regional office to do admin tasks. Para naman palitan muna siya as principal. And again, This speaks of a bigger situation, a wider situation, na dapat talaga tingnan ng liderato ng DepEd. 
and solutions must be in place. No? Baka mamaya nasasakal siya doon, dito muna siya sa admin task, o yung namang support nando doon, o yung baka meron tayong mga teachers na nahihirapan mag-cope up kasi may mga challenges ang, challenges ang mundo eh. That's, that's normal. It's not a perfect situation. Now, where will we place them? What is the solution of uh, DepEd on that matter? Bibigyan ba natin ng parang option to retire pero meron siyang hanap buhay na gagawin? Or ano ang magiging partnership nila with other institutions? That is where the management should come into play. Because at this point of time, nangangailangan ng nanay. Nangangailangan ng nanay. Both the students, the teachers, and the institution. Thank you. We invite our uh, honorable speakers to share their uh, close, uh, brief uh, closing uh, statements. Uh, can I start na lang? Um, kasi actually I was going to add on to what uh, Kung Janet said. Um, again, no, as part of EDCOM 2, uh, to be quite frank, learning environment conditions are part of what our next year's oversight function is going to be one of the priority areas we will look into. Um, the lower house and Chairman uh, Roman has already passed a mental health and wellness uh, proposal, no? um, particularly for public schools. Um, the PISA results, as a matter of fact, show that the Philippines uh, scores very low when it comes to um, learning environment and school bullying and so on from the students point of view uh, but it also uh, apparently has great difficulty from the teachers point of view um, so all of that is still part of what EDCOM 2 is doing now in terms of our oversight functions in order to ask precisely the kinds of questions in fact that uh, Congresswoman Garin has already pointed out. Um, ang ano lang naman sa amin uh, ngayon, I think as a closing statement. Kung meron man kayong mga komento tungkol sa mga isyong ito, maaari kayong magbigay ng mga reaksyon sa comment section na makikita sa ibaba ng bidyong ito. Kaming salamat at kung ikaw ay interesado ng mga bidyong tulad nito, mangyaring suportahan ang channel na ito sa pamamagitan ng pagpindot ng like, pag-share ng mga video at kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, please subscribe sa channel na ito at pindutin ang notification bell at piliin ang all upang maabisuhan ka para sa mga paparating pang mga videos.